In the last decade, the IT world has started taking over. Today, many IT jobs are amongst the highest paid jobs you can do. So let's get through the 10 highest paid jobs in 2023. Hey, it's Paul from howtonetwork.com. So I wanted to talk about the 10 highest paid IT careers that you should be considering in 2023. Starting at number one is your IT manager. You may have heard of CTO, CIO, or VP of IT, or even IT manager, depending on the size of your company. So these people are responsible for your entire IT infrastructure, all of the departments and people and uh, they normally sit on the board of directors so for this type of career it's partly technical partly management and um, currently in america you're looking at around one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. number two is your solutions architect so this person is responsible for designing the architecture for your entire IT infrastructure. Normally it would meet a customer's needs or their boss if they're working for a large company. It's partly uh, technical. You may well need some coding skills and that pays roughly $150,000 again in America. And number three is your principal software engineer or your lead software engineer. So this person will all have coding skills, but also be managing a team of other coding engineers. There could be some freelancers and they'll be designing apps, supporting your uh, website if you have an internal website and anything that requires any coding at your company. And again, depending on your experience and the size of the company, you're looking at around $130,000 to $150,000. I want to take a moment to tell you about howtonetwork.com. We've been around since 2004, helping people just like you pass their IT certification exams and enjoy successful careers in IT. If you come to our website, howtonetwork.com, and have a look around, I've got a link in the description where you can join the website for $1, get access to all of the certification courses, five Cisco racks, uh, all our practice exams, and a friendly forum. So I'll see you on the inside. Number four is our systems architect. So these are responsible for designing, maintaining, installing all of the hardware within your IT infrastructure. So all your routers, servers, switches. Again, this is a technical role. So it could be working with Cisco, Hewlett Packard, Juniper, whoever your supplier is, and also managing the team, freelancers, and full-time employees that are supporting all of the equipment. Next role is cybersecurity engineer. This obviously is an area that's absolutely exploding at the moment. You've got uh, defending your network, protecting your network, also possibly penetration testing where you're trying to see if you can break into your own network or doing it on behalf of a customer. And also you've got the compliance side where any rules, regulations or laws in your particular country have to be uh, complied with, such as protecting your customer's data. This type of role would be paying around 130,000 to 150,000, depending on your experience. And again, the size of the company. Number six is your cloud architect or engineer. Again, you may well have heard of the three biggest suppliers, which is Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. Many, many companies now are, are moving their infrastructure, part of it or, or all of it onto the cloud. If you use services like Google or Hotmail, or Outlook, then you're already using cloud services. So cloud services obviously have a great price benefit for companies. And if you can provide that solution, then you're looking at commanding around 120 dollars to $140,000. And number seven is your program manager. Other parts of the world are called project managers. So these people may be part technical or just project skills. They will uh, be in control of the budget, the people, and the timelines and deadlines, the SLAs for meeting a particular project. So this with experience and some qualifications, again, you're looking at around 120 to $140,000, depending on the size of the company. And number eight is your product manager. So these are the people that actually make money for the company. It's obviously gonna have some sales skills. What you are doing is designing a product or solution, hardware or software, or even an application that would meet a customer's need. You have a list of requirements that the customer wants, and then you'll work with the project manager and the technical teams or the programmers. You'll create a roadmap of uh, where you are and where you need to be, and then you'll finally deliver the product to the customer. Again, you're looking at around $120,000 to $140,000 depending on the size of the product and also the company. Number nine is your DevOps engineer. So this is a requirement to follow procedures for coding, keeping revisions of your code, making sure the code matches the requirements for your customer or your boss if you're working for a company. DevOps engineers will require coding skills, obviously, security knowledge, a strong knowledge of networking, which is TCP IP and network security. DevOps has lots of certifications from vendors such as Cisco and Microsoft, and you could be looking at around, on average, $130,000 for this role. And number 10 is your MIS manager, your management information systems. So this person is responsible for making sure that the IT products match the requirements of the business 
business. MIS manager will manage teams, work with your customers also, and make sure that uh, what they're developing is matching the needs of the business. Okay, so they're the top 10 careers. Obviously, if you're beginning in IT, you won't be aiming for them, but it's something to plan for the long term. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up.